and I've got my bleed in green this time. So I need to make this sticker ready. And the way I'm going to make it sticker ready is to grayscale it. Now grayscale does not turn it gray. It, is, it does turn it gray, but it's actually a formatting issue that gets rid of all the color. I'm going to image mode grayscale. Don't merge. Discard the color. And notice how on my orange layer, it turned it shades of gray. Well, we can only create a vector graphic out of a solid black. So with my paint bucket now, I need to go in and make all of this solid black. Then I'm going to go in and do it on the other layer. Now blue usually, on this assignment usually comes in solid black. But to make sure, I'm going to turn both eyeballs on. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, excuse me, Image, yeah, Image Adjustments, Posterize, and select 2. And when I select 2, it automatically makes it black and white. But it won't do that if you haven't dumped that gray in. It'll make the gray white. So see, I've got two blacks. Now, to save two different files, I'm going to go File, Save As. And remember, you save it as TIFF or, Git or JPEG, depending on which cutter you're going to. So this one, I'm going to save it as Denver Broncos logo. And I'm going to call it Orange orange and then because the orange is the only one turned on if I select TIFF it's only going to save that layer and then I'm going to go to the blue which isn't labeled here but it should be named blue even though they're all black these are the colors I'm going to cut on the sticker I'm going to go File, Save As, and what am I going to save it as? I'm going to save it as Blue and TIFF or JPEG based on which cutter I'm using. Now I have two different files. This one happens to be the um, blue one, and I can file print this, and then File, Open Recent. I can open the orange one and file print that and that's what you need to turn in today is the two prints of that and as a final step just so I know it's yours make a text box that has your name on it and make sure that your text box which is right here now is turned on on both layers when you save them because this is a practice we don't really worry about the fact that um, your name's on it.